ghouls and ghoulzettes, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the look, I haven't had time to do my makeup today, I just rolled out of bed and I haven't had my morning coffee yet. Such is the life of a busy weirdo. Today I wanted to do the Fear the Booktuber tag, originally created by David's Book Reviews, and I was kindly tagged by Michelle's Melancholia, whose video I'll link down below. Please excuse my voice, I have a cold and my <laughs> nose is clogged. So let's get started. Um, question number one, what is your deepest, darkest fear? Honestly, I think my deepest, darkest fear in a hypothetical world would be to be eaten alive by a giant bug, specifically a gastropod, due to um, a rumor from elementary school that, um, <laughs> Let's relive the trauma, shall we? So here's the rumor. There was this rumor in elementary school that one time um, this kid found slugs in his salad and he accidentally ate them, <laughs> which is so gross. Now, I have a hate-hate relationship with slugs and close to the time I found out about this rumor, I had a little bit of a disabled moment. Um, <laughs> where my eyes played a little trick on me. Um, one time I remember I, we were standing in line to get our food and I, so one of the, the, I keep calling it entrees because it's actually an entree and not an appetizer. Um, English, get it together. It's an entree, an appetizer is an entree. So, if you want to use French words, get it right. I was in line to get my first dish, the first dish of the meal, which is an entree, and um, so it was a little, I thought, okay, it was a macédon de légumes, which I'm not sure how it's called in English, but it's basically a little, like, vegetables, like, little pieces of carrot, um, peas, I'll, I'll throw the name up, and it's um, little vegetables in uh, this kind of mayonnaise sauce. I don't think it's just mayonnaise, but anyway. And so, just to give you an idea of the texture, and so that's what I thought it was, and it looked like that. Well, turns out it was a mushroom salad, and they, it like, you know when you put it in a little ramekin and then put it on a plate and it has this like oval shape, or like circular shaped kind of a thing? That's how it was displayed, and I was fully convinced it was messy de de legume. And so when I get back to my seat and I'm ready to eat and I'm like ready to dig in, and then come to find once I put it in my mouth that it's mushrooms, and I hate mushrooms. I mean, I despise mushrooms. And it was so gross, it almost threw up on the table, and it was just like, but it, here's the thing, it had the texture of a thousand slugs, and it was so disgusting, oh my gosh. It was really bad. And ever since, before that, I just thought, slugs and snails were whatever. I actually had a pet snail growing up. I was just, I didn't care. Now I'm terrified of them. So in a hypothetical world, if I was eaten alive by a giant slug or snail, I'd be terrified. In the real world, my biggest fear, <laughs> this is so stupid, as a new adult of the world, one of the things I hate most in life is doing my taxes, like official paperwork and stuff. I hate it. My biggest fear would honestly be like, being sent to prison or something because I didn't fill out my forms properly. Like not even, like as, as an accident, like every, I swear every time I fill out my taxes, I'm just like, don't spell your name wrong. Oh my God, I'm going to jail for 20 years for spelling a name wrong. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Cannot, I would die happy if I never had to do that again. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, so that's my biggest fear. <laughs> Question number two. That took a long time. What is the scariest novel you read this year? And what is your new favorite scary author you have read this year? So the scariest novel, well, I don't know if it counts as a novel, but book, um, is The Songs of Meldor. Now, it's not specifically horror. What's scary is that the concept of the book, okay, is that Meldor is a human embodiment of evil. Like, he's not just a bad person, he's just evil. Pure evil. And one thing I found is that 
the author talks about Maldor's actions or like um, the people describing Maldor talk about his actions in such a casual way. One of the scariest parts of horror is not when you have some kind of monster like a Chucky or like, um, you know, Freddy Krueger or whatever. I think the scariest parts of horror is when you have evil but in everyday people, like American Psycho, you know, where it's like, it's really not where you expect it. And so, yeah, I just thought the songs of Maldor, like, considering that would be scary. Because a lot of times Maldor is in human form and he's just walking amongst the other humans and then he does his thing. It's also a philosophy philosophical book so it's very convoluted at times which is scary and the scariest part the scariest part okay is that the author Comte de Tréamont or Isodore Ducasse um which was his real name wrote the book when he no I don't know when he wrote the book but I know he died when he was 24 24 and the book is a precursor to like surrealism and a lot of author, other poets like Baudelaire or whatever, and I'm like, what were you writing when you were 24, <laughs> minus 24 or something? Like, <laughs> okay. Um, and my new favorite horror author has to be um, probably Gus Moreno. This Thing Between Us by Gus Moreno was a fantabulous novel, and I love Gus Moreno and I look forward to reading more of his stuff. I really like his writing style. Number three, what novel or series are you scared to read? Any genre. Okay, horror, I'm scared to read The House of Leaves. I bought it a while back and then when I moved I had to sell it. Well, I had to get rid of a lot of books and it made the cut because <laughs> I was like, I don't foresee myself reading this. Not because I don't want to, just because I'm scared to. In fact, the way I heard about House of Leaves was through another YouTuber's um, video. Her name is My Reading is Odd, and I'll link her video down below. Um, she made a video that is literally called The Scariest Books I've Ever Read, or like the books that scared me the most, something along those lines. And one of them was House of Leaves, and I was like, I gotta get my hands on that. Bitch, I haven't. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Another book I'd love to read and I'm kind of scared to is Don Quixote because it's so long. Number four, what frighteningly good horror author you feel me needs more attention on booktube? Okay, for this one I'm gonna go with Kurt Vonnegut and I'll admit to partaking and not talking about him enough, but his writing is everything I like about horror. I don't think he's a horror writer specifically, I just think he wrote a lot of horror. I don't know what the difference, anyway, whatever. Everything I like about horror, which is the fictionalization of real life events. And that's, I think, like, I don't know. But oh my gosh, Slaughterhouse-Five specifically is so creepy. And it's just, I mean, it's just really good. And I feel like people don't talk about him enough. Number five, what's your favorite scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? Um, so my favorite scary franchise is Chucky. My favorite scary movie within that is the second one, Chucky 2, which I feel like is one of the, those franchises where the second movie is better than the first one. I did have a fun experience while watching the first one. I remember I was sitting in bed um, in the dark and I was watching Chucky on my laptop. This is so funny. At the time, the fence between my next door neighbor's yard and ours was like it had a hole in it. We didn't know. And at the time the house was for sale, we didn't even know someone had moved in. And I remember I was watching the movie and at one point I totally randomly looked out the window and I see this giant Rottweiler just staring at my room. Like just there, standing, staring at me. And I just remember sitting there and I'm like, uh, okay. 
and then back to my movie and then later I looked again and the, the dog was gone. Turns out she's a total cupcake but it was so, it was a very Cujo moment for me. All right number six. Whose channel produces the scariest videos? Well I think that Mr. Morningstar's videos are pretty creepy in a good way. Although Juan at Plagued by Visions makes really fun creepy intros, a lot of times it spills over to the whole video but eh, it's a close call between Mr. Morningstar and Juan. I don't know. Although, you know what? Cameron Chaney just made his return on YouTube and he makes some pretty creepy videos sometimes. I love his little library ambiance with all the lighting and everything. So without really answering the question, that's my non-answer. Number seven, a new horror tuber whose subscriber count is terrifyingly low that deserves more attention. Ooh, that's a tough one. So I haven't been in finding new YouTubers mode recently. I've been more in catching up on the videos I haven't seen yet mode. If you have any recommendations, drop them in the comments absolutely one youtuber who i'm subscribed to who has few uh, subscribers who i think deserves more is inked wooks reads inked witch reads <laughs> i'm just being a smart ass but no i think her videos are really cool and they're kind of creepy and in a good way obviously we love creepy here um and yeah i just think she deserves more than 53 subscribers all right, number eight. If you meet Pennywise, what fictional character or creature would it turn into? Oh, well, definitely Ji Yun from The Grudge because that is the scariest horror movie that I've seen. I don't know, okay, I don't know if it's the scariest horror movie I've seen like during the movie, but it's the only movie that's really scarred me like long term. And I swear the scariest thing for me is the uh, like, you know, that the sound the monster makes or the ghost makes. And so yeah, probably if I heard that in the middle of the night or in the dark, and if I just lifted my blanket and there was a ghost under there, I'd be pretty creeped out. I'd be very creeped out. But I w probably wouldn't be creeped out if I saw G Hunt in the gutter. I don't know. I don't think I'll take the time to look in the gutter. <laughs> That's the truth. Number nine. What novel scared you so much it gave you nightmares or made you uncomfortable? Um, I don't think I've ever read a novel that's had that effect on me yet. Um, it's very difficult for stuff to give me nightmares because I already have night terrors from real life. Like, you know, scare me. So no novels have had that effect on me, but movies, like I said, The Grudge. Um, one, I also had, well, I had dreams. I didn't have any nightmares, but from the Haunting of Hill House series on Netflix. I don't know why it wasn't a nightmare, but <laughs> whatever. But it was really good. I love that show. Dreamt about it. Um, what? I don't think anything really gives me nightmares anymore, except real life. Number 10, tag the scariest booktubers you know. Well, I think every booktuber I've seen has already been tagged for this one who's super creepy. If not, you're definitely tagged. You know whose creepy demon answers I love to hear? Xander from Pax Panic, Maya from Nemeria's channel, and Watson from Reading This Life. We need to hear from y'all. We need to hear the truth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or anything. And see you later. Bye.